I'll uh, start explaining a little bit about this drag line here. Um, we are strictly a surface mine. We haven't done underground mining since about 1950s, 60s. We did underground and surface mining at the same time. And now we're strictly a surface mine. One thing that helps us produce as much coal as we do every year is the drag line itself. We produce about one and a half million tons of coal every year. This drag line here, what it does is strictly removes overburden. It doesn't load any haul trucks, it doesn't load them with coal, it doesn't touch the coal. It removes all of that dirt off the top of the coal seam so that we can mine that out. And uh, we mine quite a bit of, uh, into the ground, about 300 feet. So you're looking at a 300 foot high wall at the time everything's said and done. Um, so this removes all that overburden and inner burden, or all the dirt that's sitting on top of it. It uses a bucket there at the end, which is about 33 cubic yards. It weighs about 4 million pounds. It's 120 feet tall. It is the biggest land-based piece of equipment in the state of Alaska. Um, one thing that's very unique about it is that it doesn't run on any kind of fuel, gas or diesel. It strictly runs on electricity about 7,200 volts are uh, racing through this daily. It uh, usually operates on a 12-hour shift, so it's operating 24 hours a day, and uh, sometimes seven days a week, but usually five days a week. And so sometimes it has electrical problems, which means that we operate on nine and a half hour shifts, which is what we're doing right now. So it's not such a long day, and it's a pretty boring job. Nobody likes to do it because it's pretty repetitive. That bucket digs about 150 feet uh, total into the ground it can reach, and it can dump 150 feet high. And it can dig about a football field length away. So, oh, it also walks. So it doesn't run on tracks or tires or anything like that. How it moves is by walking. So it sits on a tub here, and these feet, and it moves very slow, about 13 feet per minute. So it's uh, not very fast, <coughs> and it's probably a good thing, it's 4 million pounds, we wouldn't want it going 60 miles an hour. <laughs> and uh, so these will pick up, these will sit down like this, and it'll pick this tub up, and pick itself up like, kind of like a robot. Are there any questions about it? How much does one cost? <laughs> uh, we bought this about 30 years ago, and it was $25 million then. So today, with the way things are going, I'm sure it's doubled, if not tripled. Pretty expensive. Coffee this after replacement. This is made by Bucyrus Erie. How often do you have to replace the bucket? Well, to be honest, we've never replaced the bucket. Just uh, we just do a lot of maintenance. Yeah. A lot of maintenance here. We're pretty self-sufficient here. Uh, we're two hours from the nearest grocery store, or really any sign of life. <laughs> so we have to be able to take care of ourselves. And uh, one way that we do that is have our warehouse downstairs, which holds like millions of parts, because you know sometimes it takes six months to a year. For instance, our drag line, this is uh, no longer made this model, so parts <coughs> for it have to be handmade. So it takes about six months to a year to get one part in. So we have to have lots of parts on stock, not just for this, but for all our haul trucks, our dozers, all of our loaders, everything. Um, so it's very important that we do that. We also have an electrical shop, a welding bay, a machine shop, glass shop. So we're, you know, we're pretty prepared to repair anything.